closing act this evening. He is the closing act of the series. We know you're going to love him. He's not talking about the news. He's just going to make you laugh. Would you please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Steve Hughes. <laughs> Just witnessed the beginning of the apocalypse. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> but I'm actually originally from Australia, and uh, it's good to be up in here about 10 years, and I've uh, been here for the, uh, the summer. The summer has been fucking brilliant this year, here in uh, London. Two weeks of fucking sun, and um, I'm not being patronising, it's fucking excellent. And uh, no, it is, because actually you have a better summer than Australia, because it's actually bearable. You know, in fucking Australia, it's hot as fucking shit, you understand? For months at a time, and then Europeans go, how come the Aboriginals didn't build anything? Because it's hot as fucking shit. <laughs> you understand? Do you want to build a castle? Fuck that, I'm going to the beach. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> At least I live in Manchester, which I like a lot. Uh, I don't know if anyone's from north up here. And, uh, and it's cool up there. I like it. Sorry, darling. Birmingham, Birmingham. Well, it's, yeah, it's Midlands. Midlands. We're talking fucking north, mate. Manchester. And, uh, and I lived in the, uh, right in the city there, and uh, right near Canal Street, and, uh, which is, uh, yeah, which is, which is the gay part of Manchester. It's a very, it's very openly gay scene up in Manchester. It's very cool. But this fella, it's quite a strange thing. This fella in Manchester, he came up to me one day and he goes, you know, if you wear an earring in your right ear, which I do. He said, in England, that means you're gay. <laughs> it's fucking weird. It does. Well, it's weird, mate. See, in Australia, it's when you get your cock in another man's ass. Fucking hope there. You got a lot of catching up to do. And, uh... <laughs> And I'll admit I've got some homophobic friends. I uh, know none of us are supposed to be like that anymore because of the age of political correctness, which is actually intellectual colonialism and psychological fascism for the creation of thought crime. But I've got some uh, homophobic friends, and they're, they're, they're very funny, and uh, a lot of people go, what, they're, what, they're homophobic? Well, they shouldn't be. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> well, they should stop it. <laughs> well, they're not. Well, they should. Well, you go and tell them. <laughs> I mean, they're not mental cases, my mates. They don't hit gay men. They're not waiting in the woods with a crossbow. They're not fucking insane, right? <laughs> they just don't like it, and that's the fucking deal. And they're very funny, mate. One of my mates, especially, he's my age, and he still can't deal with it. He's tried, but I saw him about a month ago, and he's still freaking out. I don't like him, mate. I don't like him. I'm going, who? He goes, the poofters, mate. Gays, mate. I don't like them. I said, why not, mate? He goes, I'll tell you why not. Because they're not real men. And they're not tough. <coughs> they're not tough. Huh? They fuck men. <laughs> That's hardly gay. What a straight men one. Ooh, I want a woman. <laughs> Soft and feminine. And what do you want, Dave? I want to fuck a bloke. <laughs> right. I want a big strong bloke to fuck me in the ass. <laughs> Is that a bit tough for you and your pussy loving mates? Is it? Fuck you, because we want cock, son. Cock! <laughs> yeah, you go and play with your girly tits, you fucking gay lord. Go on. <laughs> Straight! It's the new gay. <laughs> oh, which it is. I know it is. We live in the corporate age. Where everyone have no men are left. I've seen young straight fellas wandering around these days. You've seen them. You know them, don't you? The ones with their little pre-ripped jeans and their Tony and Guy haircuts. They're thinking they understand women because they bought a belt. Have you seen them? <laughs> uh, you know who I'm talking about. And women know who I'm talking about. They come up to them all the time. Hi, how are you? Uh, how are you? 
I just want to say it's her. I just want to say it's her. Fuck it. Pull your trousers up, you stupid prick. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's not just me developing hate in the street. You suck and see your underwear, you fuckwit. I mean, I don't hate them, really. I don't hate them. They're just fucking guys, and they've been stripped of their testicles because of the corporate entity. And, uh, and I see them in the gym, the poor little bastards. I do feel sorry for them because they're in there, you know, and they're, they're way of working out, but then they're in the dressing rooms, and it takes them months to get out of there because they're all gelled up and shaved up and moisturised. <laughs> Which is a good thing, maybe, because, you know, if I was going to fuck a guy, that's how I'd want him. So... <laughs> You know, some fat, hairy mutant hanging over you. Uh, <laughs> football! Ooh. You don't want that. <laughs> you want some crisp, minty chap, don't you? <laughs> Smooth and tight like a lozenge. Have a good night. Thank you.